Hello and welcome to Let's Replay The Simpsons Game. Would you believe it guys, eight years ago this very day, I uploaded the first part of my first ever Let's Play of The Simpsons Game on PS2, the start of my channel, more or less. And let me tell you something, it was uh, it was pretty bad, you know? The visuals were bad, the, the sound quality was bad, my commentary was probably pretty bad, so was the gameplay, so let's give it another shot, why not? That was on the PS2, Let's do it on the Xbox 360 in glorious HD and um, just go back and revisit this game because let's be honest there hasn't really been another proper Simpsons game since this one and um, I know you guys are keen for more re-let's plays, oh, let's just skip that, um, more re-let's plays and I know how much you guys love the Simpsons so it just made sense to do this. I've already started doing uh, re-let's plays with uh, Destroy Humans 2 so I thought I'd continue. Um, I'll probably get into more about why I'm redoing this and all sorts of stuff, but uh, let's just get on with it. Let's get straight into the game. Probably have to do all the faff like picking storage devices, yeah, but we'll do this and then get into. Uh, let's do the hard drive. Very good. Get into the first level, which is the land of chocolate. Grand Theft Scratchy. Fire! Scratchy! Wow, chocolate half price. Excuse me, Fatty, you're eating our world. Hey, you like that rabbit thing from that book about a girl named Alice who goes to Wonderland. What was it called? Oh, yeah, Snow White and Stupid Town. For your information, I am the White Chocolate Rabbit. Hey, White Chocolate's not even chocolate. It doesn't even contain cocoa salad. Well, if I'm not real chocolate, then you probably wouldn't be interested in eating me. Mmm, <laughs> White Chocolate. If you can't do the tutorial, you're really in trouble. I hate know-it-all chocolate. Leap, Jumbo, leap. Alright, well, here we go. Look at this. Level number one, the tutorial level set in the land of chocolate. And boy, it is very, very different to how I played this before. <laughs> it is so much nicer and so much cleaner and smoother and sharper. Oh, back then, I didn't know how to edit. I didn't know how to capture. I just, I was a noob. But, um, let's go on with it. Let's do the, the basics like jumping and looking around with the camera and following the white rabbit. Oh yeah, so I should, I should point out, uh, it told us to check out our notepad, which is with select. This tells us the things to do, like follow the white ribbit, ribbit, rabbit through the village. And it also tells us about our collectibles, our trophies, and our cliches found, which we'll get onto in just a bit. But um, yeah, let's just get there first. Why so slow, fatty? Eat too many of my relatives? What a very rude little rabbit. This place is way better than vitamin tropolis. But, um, man, I forgot just how much sound there is. You're going to see subtitles a lot at the bottom. But there's a bit more to go through in terms of... I, sh I, I know you guys all know this already. This game's so old. But I'm going to go through it anyway. Um, so if you look on the bottom right, you got a little picture of Homer burping because that gives away his, uh, his special ability, which I think we're going to use right now. If you have enough power, press and hold B for Homer's power burp. There's a regular one. And that little white line on the blue bar which is our, our power meter. If you hold it and charge up to the line, you get... Boom! A fiery, flammable burp. And you can refill the meter by eating food, in Homer's case. To stun enemies with Homer's burp, tap B. All right, let's give it a go. Get stunned. There we go. To be honest, a lot of stuff in these games is uh, destroyable. <laughs> you can just you can just get rid of loads of stuff. I don't know what they're meant to be, those. Some sort of gummies. But anyway, we're full on our little bar now, so you can't actually eat anymore until I use some up. And you start eating it again. But uh, yeah, let's, let's grab our first collectible up there. All episodes have hidden collectibles. Find them all to earn trophies and grow your power meter. Boing up here. 
Uh, so all the families have different collectibles. Homers are duff bottle caps. So we go one of five. Find them all in each episode to unlock a trophy. And collecting trophies increases your power meter. That little blue bar in the bottom. Uh, so I'm going to try and get all the collectibles in this guide. Um, this this walkthrough. This let's play. Whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I don't care. Um, like I did last time. But there are some things I don't think I'm going to do to get 100% completion. There are some things like time challenges which I'll probably show off. But I don't know if I can be bothered to do them. But that's, that's way in the future. We'll leave that till uh, another point. Destroy the marsh fountains to stop enemies from reappearing. There she is, licking her lips. I'm pretty sure I thought in the old Let's Play, because it was such low quality uh, and so blurry, I thought that she was sort of snarling with her mouth. But now with uh, all the HD visuals, you can really see what things are. And um, that will prove... I should really destroy this to stop the rabbits. There we go. But that's also true with many, many other things in this game, like little signs and gags and things in the background which I probably would never have noticed before I can now go back and actually appreciate so that'll be good that'll be nice to see right, let's move on oh no let's not move on there's another collectible up here there we go two or five very nice very nice wow it's even bigger than Marge's butt <laughs> oh my I've never I've never heard that line before Marge. Uh, right, let's get rid of these spawners first. Uh, but as you can obviously tell, this level is based on uh, the land of chocolate from... Oh, which season is it? I think it's season three. Uh, wait, I wrote down the name. It's Burns Verkaufen de Kraftwerk, which I think means roughly Burns sells the power plant, but it's actually a mistranslation. Um, what a great episode. Momo's little daydream into the land of chocolates when the Germans buy the power plant. And uh, it's crazy to think that that episode is actually one year older than me. It's, it was uh, came out in 1991. And yet here I am playing it right now. <laughs> right, that is all the rabbits dealt with. I think we have to press that there. Which extends up the ice cream sandwich platforms. Is that what they're meant to be? I don't know. But yeah, this is definitely different to the PS2 version. In fact, it was made by a different developer. Um, obviously published by EA still, but um, the PS2 version was developed by... Oh, I forgot their name. I think it was like Rebellion Games or something. It doesn't really matter. But this version and the PS3 version, so basically the, the next-gen versions, were developed by um, uh, EA Redwood Shores, which eventually became Visceral Games, which you probably all know for um, Dead Space, the Dead Space series. I know them mainly because they did the later James Bond games, like, um, well, later PS2 ones that I, I played, like uh, Everything or Nothing, which I let's played, and also uh, From Russia with Love, which um, is a very good Bond game as well. So they also made this. Good for them. Good for them indeed. <laughs> so I think we need to jump around the second layer of the cake. There really is. Thankfully it auto saves all that stuff so you don't have to go back and get them if you miss them. Although I think we probably will have to go back and get some... I have to replay some levels to get some. I'm, I'm probably going to miss some. I'm going to warn you now. I'm very forgetful in my in my age. Right, up to the top of the castle. The castle? The cake cake castle thing, whatever it is. <laughs> I've never seen anyone wet their pants while jumping. Oh damn, I just fell off. <laughs> right, let's kill him. Very, very simple, not a tough challenge at all. And that lets us become Homer Ball. Big fat Homer. Now, I need to be quite quick here because the game will automatically finish and I have to get two collectibles. I need to get one that's on top of this middle bit up here. And there is one up this wall. And I, I always miss it and I never get it in time. But soon the screen will go white and I've got to get it quick. There we go. Oh, I did it. Congratulations, you have won Choco Duff Dark Trophy. So yeah, all of Homer's trophies. So you get collectibles to get the trophies. The trophies are Duff flavours. Um, earn five more from any character to increase a family's power meters. There we go. 
and you can go and look at them, which we will do in just a moment in the uh, the Simpsons house garage. Let's just finish off by, I don't know, crushing some more rabbits. Why not? Not dreaming, not dreaming, not dreaming, not... What? Damn it, I was dreaming! Why is life so unfair? All I want is the ability to eat everything in sight and turn into a giant ball! Is that too much to ask? Damn you, reality! Great job, Simpson. Time challenge unlocked. Thank you, Springfield Chopper. So we did it in 11.25.06. The target was three minutes. As you can guess... Uh, I'm never going to get the uh, the target time because I waffle on for too much doing a let's play. So um, we're not going to aim for the target times, but that is another another thing you can do is try and get all the um, the time challenges. Let's have a look then. So we got one. Uh, we got the the cliche, and we got the trophy by getting all five bottle caps. Very very nice. So yeah, here you go. This is the main the main big difference compared to the the old let's play I did on the PS2 is that now we can actually. Dad. Walk around not just the Simpsons house, but we can in fact go all the way outside to. Uh, oh no, hang on, I've got. I've got to be Bart first. There we go. Uh, we can go outside into Springfield. Look at this! It's amazing. Um, oh my god, there's going to be so many sound clips I've got to talk over, because yeah, it's populated with so many characters from the Simpsons. This is. I wish I had this in the PS2 version. I missed out so badly. Like, it's not a massive Springfield, but it's pretty well populated with buildings and recognisable places and and things like that. And there's just so many characters that have their own voice lines and everything. I wouldn't think Mr. Burns has an enchanting musk. There you go. Thank you for that, Smithers. I, that wasn't creepy at all. Um, and we have to eventually explore all this Springfield to well, a get all the collectibles that you can see. Spinning around everywhere. There's a bolt cap there. There's a a crusty coupon, which is Bart's collectible over there. But also, um, like it says at the top, follow the beam of light to your next episode. This is sort of a central hub where we go and um, find all the future levels of the game. Like there's one right there. We won't do that right now. What I do want to do is quickly go back into the Simpsons house just to show you that because that was in the PS2 version, I think. But um, it just looks a lot nicer in in uh, in HD. Who would have thought, huh? Um, there's a few different areas. So we've got where is it? Do, 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 oh crap! Let's go. The camera is a bit funky every now and then. We've got a massive kitchen right here. It's humongous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, in the garage here at the back, this is let's be Homer for this. This is Homer's Duff collection. As you can see, we've got the first one of twelve. We've got a lot more to get through all the future levels. Look at him. Pained by the uh, the lack of duff. And then... Ooh, duff. Uh, very good. And then Bart... I won't go through all of them yet, but Bart's, Lisa's and Marge's are all upstairs. Uh, but I tell you what, this is actually a pretty good recreation of The Simpsons' house. I say pretty good. It's, it's very good, in fact. I'm a bit sad you can't go into this room. The... The weird mysterious room that sometimes is there in the show and sometimes not. The rumpus room is right here. That door, maybe you can't go in there. Actually, no, screw it. We'll go upstairs just to end off this first episode. Let's head up. So we have in here. Oh, no, we actually, we <laughs> never mind. We can't go in them yet. We need to uh, unlock some more of the characters. We can go in Bart's room, though. Here is Bart's gigantic empty room, which will soon be full of crusty posters. Yeah, we've got none so far. Look at him, looking all coy. What have you been up to, Bart? Um, can you go anywhere else yet? Or is it all still too locked? Yeah, I think it's still too locked. So um, we come back here when we unlock some more characters. I think the last thing to show off is this right here. Which are some characters... Uh, not characters, costumes even. You can unlock later on in the game. Much later on, actually, looking at it. But um, a bit like a uh, hit and run, in fact. Change costumes... I don't think they're as good though. There's no Moo Moo in this game, which is very, very sad. I wanna I wanna be in Homer's fat Moo Moo suit. Okay. 
I think that's probably going to do it then for uh, this first episode. Oh. Oh no, that's terrible to hear. A um, lot of information to go through in that first episode. Sorry it was a bit of a, a whirlwind and I didn't stop talking, but uh, hopefully I'll slow down at some point. And you know, we just appreciate the game. Next episode we're going to be heading to, I think it's the Natural History Museum as Bart and Homer. There's a, there's a collectible spinning somewhere with a dodgy shadow. There it is. Um, and tackling Bartman begins. Until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. Thank you.